and all new at 6 o'clock. The state is considering a controversial new fee that could make it a lot less affordable for families to go fishing in California. This is what fishermen love to see because they know the lake is going to be full. But could stocking a lake like this actually be harmful for the environment? I'm Robin Millen in Corona. We'll look into it coming up. Fishermen love it when local lakes are fully stocked with fish. But is adding in new fish harming the environment? It's what both sides are saying. Still ahead, environmental concerns over stocking local lakes and rivers with fish. What both sides are saying and how it could have, end up costing private lake owners a lot more money. Coming up. New at 6, it's upsetting anglers throughout California. Some scientists say fishing, fish stocking is bad for the environment. And as Inland Empire Bureau Chief Robert Miller tells us, State officials are now considering a ban on fish stocking at public and private lakes. It's fish stocking day at Corona Lake, something they've been doing twice a week, every week, for 30 years. I find it be, to be very uh, convenient. It's pretty nice. Um, it's close. It's easy. And they stock some big fish. I can't wait to get out of here, you know, to, to see if I can catch one of them because they'll show, oh, we're stocking some big ones. But could fish stocking be bad for the environment out here? On the Center for Biological Diversity's website, it says, quote, fish stocking creates several problems for California's natural environment. Non-native stocked fish prey on and compete with native species. But the owner at Corona Lake doesn't think that's the case out here. Nevertheless, he says State Fish and Game is now talking about even forcing owners of private lakes, like this one, to pay for expensive environmental reviews. It doesn't make sense. It's going to cost a lot of jobs. There's going to be a lot of people that will be out of business. There are a number of reasons people like to fish at private lakes like this one. One of those reasons, no fishing license required. You just pay your fees and come on in here. But that's another thing that might be changing. The concern is that the state will soon require everyone, even at a private lake, to have a fishing license. It doesn't make sense that they're even trying to do it. I think they're just trying to raise money for something else, getting their fingers in everything else. Nothing's been agreed upon yet. We're told all of these proposed rules will be discussed at the State Fish and Game Commission's meeting next month. In Corona, Rob McMillan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And we attempted to contact the State Department of Fish and Game for comment on the proposed changes. We have not yet heard back.